Ooh, how do you do? This is Jan Jansson reporting today from the place they call the Ghetto. Okay, I am here in the Swedish ghetto about to do this piece and it's really disgusting. I have no security guard. Well, if it's raining, he can wear a hat. What is he? What kind of pussy is he? Freaking afraid of my life now. Anytime I can get the... They can throw like a Pepsi can in my head or something. At least. I called you from the yacht in uh, St. Tropez. I was there with Puff Daddy and I was there with Renee Selweger and we, we were getting it on. And I called you, don't speak when I'm speaking. Do you get it loud and clear, my buddy? I listen, I talk. You listen, I speak. Okay, what am I going to do? It's I'm really, really, really pissed off. And I called you, said, when do I come? You said Sunday. What do you mean four weeks ago? There's like leaves and little shit on the ground from the trees. And I don't know where, I just, it, oh, it could be poo. I don't know, looks like poo. I, I'm gonna do my best, but, but this is it. I'm taking off. I'm going somewhere else where it's warm and sunny. New York, for example. Oh man, was that actually poo? Was that poo? I have to go now. I'm gonna do something for you, but I think that's, that's gonna be about it. Uh, we have to part ways here. Take it or leave it. Oh, you're gonna leave it. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I'm hanging up on you first. Hello? Sweden, one of the top five countries in the world. But what does Sweden have? It has a ghetto. And of course, uh, if I'm going to the ghetto, it must rain. Look at this, I'm in a, a childcare providing uh, space where there's just filth everywhere. The children are supposed to be here. There's graffiti all over this wall here. There's an old skateboard ramp that is really pathetic. Uh, this is an old bandy club. I don't even know if I should touch this. I probably should not. But if you can see it here, it is on the floor. Um, it's quite sad, really, that in the today's modern world and the Swedish welfare system has failed so miserably that the children in this daycare outside of Sweden in the ghetto have to live like this. But if you come with me, we're going to do uh, some exploring here today. And you're not going to love what you see. Because it is, uh, it is not, it's nasty. It has the smell of dead dog as well. Well, as you can see, it is quite a sad, depressing place. Uh, we have a, uh, uh, a slide thing here, which is connected to a sandbox. Where probably all these children from this ghetto, they pee and poo in there. And then they get it on the clothes and they slide down. It's disgusting. Uh, there's no real grass here. Sandy, as you can see everywhere. There's an old structure here with uh, another slippery slope thing and, and there's a missing bottom. Not only is it not funny, it's dangerous for the children to, if they're gonna, they're small, they're little toddlers like here and they're gonna go up and they, or oh, there's no step here. So how am I gonna get up? I would go down on the slope, but I would get really filthy on my pants. So I'm gonna say no to that. And we got, this is someone who's left a shovel here. Who does that? Huh? They should take this home uh, to sell it for money so they can feed themselves, get a can of soup or some rice or something. See, it doesn't even stay up. It is uh, broken. And I'm, excuse me, but I'm getting a little nauseous here from this. It is really uh, disgusting, upsetting. But I'm sure you feel it too. I feel like I'm in Afghanistan or some place where it's really, everything is terrible or Somalia or something that's, it's like this. It's the same. There's no difference. I am, not only afraid for my life, I'm saddened, deeply saddened for these children who are how they, they have to come here every day from nine to, I don't even know if their parents have jobs. I mean, why should they have to come here if their parents are unemployed? They can stay at home. But for the poor one or two who is here, who is not with an unemployed uh, father or mother, they probably don't even have both. They have one and they can't, they don't have a choice in the matter which one they can have. So I really feel crying, uh, not, I'm not going to, but I feel like I could cry for them. This is so, so sad. Deeply upsets me. Here we have an old uh, rowboat that they have left. Someone has left here an old rowboat and uh, it clearly does not belong in a, a daycare child care providers. Oh, see, it's, I'm feeling a mental rocking in my head because it should be on water. But look, 
uh, it's not doesn't really move it should this should be on water not be on land this gives a terrible signal to the children about boats being on land abandoned uh, soggy wet look there's leaves and i shouldn't my adidas shoes here are getting quite filthy so i should not probably step in it oh it's uh, deeply disturbing i think you've seen enough you have uh, experienced this childcare place in the ghetto uh, as i have so let's leave this uh, ghetto childcare place and uh, look at other ghetto uh, specifics uh, just to show you how it it's really miserable you're in the ghetto in Sweden with me, Jan Jansson. Thanks for watching. You have been watching What's Up with Jan Jansson. Swedish ghetto, Swedish ghetto. I'm in the Swedish ghetto. Won't you help me? Swedish ghetto, Swedish ghetto. Swedish ghetto, I'm Swedish ghetto. I'm afraid for my life. Can someone send the police?